Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be removing, cleaning and inspecting the carburettors. Here I'm actually using an old Triumph fork stanchion to attach the carburetor to the end of it uh, in order to try and get this mixing chamber union nut off. Uh, they're very tight generally because uh, they, they leak and so folks tend to over tighten them but this one came off quite nicely.
So as you may have seen, the main jet block is just a little clogged up. Uh, it looks like it may possibly have been sealed at some point, I'm not sure. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner for a few minutes, just to see if I can free up some of that debris. Um, this should push out just using my thumb, and it's, it's not budging right now. So hopefully that'll clean it up, and then um, we'll remove the main jet block, and just check inside all the holes, the, the airways, etc., just to make sure that's nice and clean on the inside. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Uh, just let's see what it looks like on the inside. I have stirred it every few minutes as well. That's hot. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks nice. Gosh, I just love it. <laughs> it's the little things, isn't it? I just love bringing these parts out of these this ultrasonic cleaner. How neat and tidy that is. So hopefully that will push out that block, but let's just see. Nope, not by hand anyway. Nope, that's not pushing at all. Might just give it a little dry off and then try again. It might just need a bit more heat. It's not very warm actually. It's not pushing out at all. I might pop it back into the ultrasonic cleaner just for a little bit longer, maybe another 10 minutes. Yeah, that's not moving at all. Okay, back in the oven. Oh yeah, it's coming. Good, good, good. Okay. Now pop it back in the oven for five more minutes. Well, I couldn't get that to come out by pushing it with my thumb. So here what I'm doing is I'm just attaching the main jet under the block very carefully and uh, putting it in the vise and trying to just lift the main body off that block uh, rather than trying to force anything down on top of that block. It's just not good practice. So, um, yeah, it's turning, of course, is the, the jet. But uh, once I manage to get it locked in, just very gently pulling it up and off the block. So that's the main jet block out and as you can see it's a little dirty and grimy there's quite a bit of build up no doubt that was causing it to hold on and uh, not let go when I was trying to get that out um, and also if I look in the bore again I've got quite a bit of deposit in there as well so clean all that up and um, I'll probably just put it back in the ultrasonic cleaner along with the other parts now but uh, doesn't it come up great I'm, I just love that machine. It's uh, really one of the best tools I've got, I think, and uh, it just looks beautiful. So this will all clean up. Um, as you saw, I was trying to be as careful as I possibly could be to get this block out. So uh, hopefully everything's fine and uh, we'll start cleaning the rest of the components. And here are all the remaining parts. They've just come out of the ultrasonic cleaner and some of them a little bit tarnished still. And then here, on the table, after a little bit more buffing and cleaning and tidying up, uh, the parts are ready to go back together again. I will need to order some gaskets here, as you see. But uh, this is pretty much it for the first carburetor.